these men wear only luxury clothes like Gucci, Christian Dior, and Louis Vuitton. Their outfits can cost up to $10,000 and they walk on the streets proudly with their flashy and expensive outfits looking like a million dollars. But these men are not millionaires. Instead, they are taxi drivers, carpenters, and electricians, and they live in houses like this. So how in the hell can they afford such expensive outfits? They are the dandies of Congo, and they are known as the Sapers. They live along the river that divides two countries. And to understand why they dress up like fancy multimillionaires, let me tell you this insane story. Before these dandies wore Gucci, they wore something different, military suits. You see, during World War II, the Republic of Congo was a French colony, and men were forced to fight for France. And when the war was over, they returned to Congo, bringing expensive clothes they bought in France. Each Sunday, they'd meet up to show off their clothes, and that's how the dandy culture began. Donc tout le monde vient s'exhiber ses, ses habits et tout et tout. Mais euh, samedi dimanche, c'est les retrouvailles. But the real question is, how can they afford to buy such expensive clothes? Especially since they live in a country where most people earn just a couple dollars per day. Well, for the dandies, the brand of clothes means everything to them. Their suits are more important than having a nice house, eating good food, or buying land. And they would save for years just to buy a pair of shoes. But I economized the money to buy that because I have been for two years to buy that. Ouais, normalement la paire là, euh, bon, si vraiment euh, je l'achetais pas, je voulais acheter ma parcelle. But being a dandy is more than wearing fancy clothes. It's also about the attitude because Congo dandies want to be real gentlemen. And there is something a dandy would never do. Non, ça bille les choses chères. The truth is, is that these men found something in their way of living in which they can take great pride. This is the way they forget about the reality of what poverty, corruption, and civil war has caused them. Because for almost three decades, they lived under a dictatorship that didn't allow them to dress in Western styles. And this was their way of protesting, not with violence, not with anger, but with their classy looks. That's why these dandies are very loved by their communities, and people follow them on the streets cheering their names. 